excited for today's session. Uh, we're going to be talking about how to generate better SEO results for your clients with Signal Genesis. Um, and we've got a great live audience with us. Uh, I like to keep these sessions as interactive as possible. So if you could, if you're excited about learning some strategies to generate better ranking results for your clients, more consistently get the clients the top rankings, uh, just type SEO in all caps. Uh, SEO in all caps live in the room. And if you happen to be watching this after, maybe you're watching this on YouTube or in one of the Facebook groups, type SEO for me as well. That way we can get some engagement rolling. Yes, yes, lots of right. SEOs coming in. Fantastic. So, um, you know, as digital marketing agencies, uh, whether you're an SEO agency or you're a full service agency like ours, where you're just figuring out how do we generate better results for the clients? How do we generate more leads, more sales, more tangible results? One of the key strategies you're going to want to focus on is search engine optimization, right? If you can get your clients ranked organically as part of your overall strategy, we find that that's usually your highest quality, lowest cost lead. And when you blend that with paid search and you blend that with database reactivation and other things, you can generate a, a really, really good result for the client almost every single time. Uh, but if you're fumbling out of the gates with your search engine optimization, or you know, just not getting ranked for the most important keywords for your clients, that is going to have an impact. So I just want to hear from you guys on a scale from one to 10, one being you're really bad, you know, like you don't really know how to get SEO, your results aren't where you want them to be. 10 being like every client gets the number one spot every single time. I don't think any of us can give a 10, but kind of rate yourself in here for me so we can kind of get a little bit of a, of a sense. Okay, we got some fives, some threes, fives. Okay, good. Six, you guys are being honest with yourselves, right? And you're being honest in, in the group. And I appreciate that. A couple of tens, a couple, you know, SEO rock stars, uh, legends in, in the room. Um, regardless of where you sit on that spectrum, there's always improvement, uh, room for improvement, right? There's always things you can do differently with your content, things you can do with your on-page optimization, things you can do with your, your link building and your link strategy. And one of the strategies we rolled out in our agency uh, over the last... I guess it's got to be like two years now, was implementing Signal Genesis, right? It was putting this, this system in place that kind of moved us from just blog posting on the client sites in a vacuum to creating content that we could then syndicate out and create lots of signals for our clients. And I will tell you, we do this for every single client. It's core to our entire SEO strategy. And it's one of the things I look at as one of our secret weapons to generate better results for our clients. Um, and so I'm really excited to have Lane, who's the founder of Single Genesis, on with us today to you know talk to you about how you can leverage this platform and leverage this strategy to generate better results uh, for your clients. So just give me a one in the comments if you're excited to hear some next level strategies from an SEO perspective. Awesome. Fantastic. All right. Very, very good. Um, at the beginning, I asked this. I'm going to ask it again because I think it's, it's relevant. This is not a sales pitch for signal genesis, right? This is gonna be very, very useful information on how to build better signals, how to generate better rankings, but the, the kind of the, the core underlying platform is signal genesis. Um, let me know in the comments, one, if you're already using signal genesis and it's core to what you do in your agency, two, if you don't, um, but you're thinking, you know, I, I, you're learning about it. Maybe you're, you're thinking maybe this should be part of it. One, if you're using it today, uh, two, if it's, if it's something you're, you're looking at. Lots of ones. Okay, good. Lots of really, really smart yeah. agency owners in the room myself included, David Kozlerik, one of the top white label SEO agencies in the country, um, are, are using this platform. We do it for every client. Um, so if you're, if you're a two, this is a great opportunity. This is something that you're not doing today that could absolutely move the needle for you just by, by kind of la layering this into your strategy. Uh, okay, so with, without further ado, I want to get this over to Lane. I want to get it to David. I want to get it to the team. Uh, but I do want to say this is super important, right? Because if you can consistently rank your clients, it's going to mean better retention. It's going to mean clients more happy to, to recommend you to other. It's going to mean your team feeling good that you're actually providing a service that is generating a tangible, measurable result. It's going to mean you have a bigger impact in the world, right? Because nobody wants to feel like they're just running their agency as a cash grab or they can get the clients, but they're struggling to retain them because they can't get the results. So this is super important. Just give me a yes in the comments if that's clear. Like this is going to make you more money. It's going to make you more sticky. It's going to make you more referable. It's going to make your, your agency more valuable. Awesome. So good. So with that said, Lane, we are primed, ready, and excited uh, to hear about what, what you've got for us today. 
Awesome. Thanks so much, Josh. Really, really appreciate the introduction. Really appreciate you as a customer. Really excited to have everyone here today um, on this webinar listening to us. And I'm also excited to have David Kozlerik with us, who will uh, show you all a little bit of a case study that they were able to put together in 2022 for one of their big clients. So we'll talk about that in a little bit. Um, we're going to dive right in. So I'll go ahead and share my screen and then we'll just we'll just jump right in here. Do I have Matt here too? Hopefully he's here. Um, also, so for those of you, I, I saw a couple of twos in there, which it's really good to have a bunch of ones. So those, uh, those of you who are existing customers of Signal Genesis, we super appreciate all of you as customers, really excited about all the, the great results and the feedback that we get from um, our users and customers. Uh, really excited to unveil this case study today, uh, which will show the, the, the scale of Signal Genesis and what it can do across a much larger type of client that David had in, in the Cairo franchise. Um, and for those of you though who aren't users, I'm just gonna spend like two minutes here and just give you the overarching kind of um, principle or um, strategy behind Signal Genesis, okay? This, uh, many of you probably, if you've seen this before, put a two in, in, in comments real quick. If you've seen this pie chart before at any level, because Moz has been doing it for many, many years, White Spark, Darren at White Spark has been doing it now um, for a couple of years, this local search ranking factors of study, if you will. Um, David and Lynn and I talked and put this together um, about a month ago, um, talked about our different experiences in 2022 and put together this pie chart that really breaks down the, the major categories of signals or ranking factors. Ranking factors, ranking signals are synonymous. Mm -hmm that the algorithm, the search systems we know are, are measuring, are quantifying, and which result then in moving the needle or uh, ranking on page one, depending on how good you do in these different categories of, of ranking factors or signals. So the overarching principle or strategy with which we developed Signal Genesis technology with was from the standpoint of how many different ranking signals can we generate with one article of content, one press release, okay? And why press releases? Why have we focused on press releases up until now? Largely because they're the most authoritative news uh, types of sites that you can get. News sites, Google loves news, right? Um, it gives a lot of authority and weight to news. And these live news sites, um, when we looked at the profile of the average like news site versus the average guest post blogging site, it was a hands down winner that the news sites were so much better in terms of just their footprint, the overall traffic that they had. It was diverse. It wasn't just all one type of traffic. And so um, we built Signal Genesis technology. Number one, we built it for agencies. All right. So we've built this entire platform exclusively for agencies with agency in mind, with agency needs in mind, with agency multi client management in mind. And then we built it from a standpoint of how many different signals can we generate with one press release. And then we can take that press release and get it on authoritative news, media, radio station, magazine, digital journal type sites that will leave the average, even better than average guest post blogging type of site in the dust. Okay. And then we were able to then generate, do this at scale because we are able to basically empower our agencies to hit that publish button. And then it amplifies on 40, 50, over 100 types of sites. Okay. And so um, when we combine our technology, the strategy of generating ranking signals, the technology and the strategies that we've implemented into how it's carried out, um, we're able to generate hundreds of ranking signals with just one piece of content. Um, and so we focused on the technology and strategic execution of this process in these different areas of, of weighting or influence that we know move the needle in local search rankings and organic. So we know Google My Business Signals will, if you generate signals within this category, within that Google My Business listing uh, or ecosystem, these are the most influential signals that you can generate or a client can generate about their own company that will have the most influence in that map pack ranking, okay? Um, secondarily, then we have on page. Now, I talked to Darren actually at White Spark about four weeks ago about this when I was putting this together for ourselves. And I had told him, hey, Darren, you know, I'm including EAT signals now in the on page category because EAT has become so prominent in all search queries. 
And Google has actually expanded on the principles of EAT within the Raider guidelines, within the different search algorithm systems, that it really almost deserves its own category. But because just about every EAT signal you can generate is going to be on a page, whether it's on a LinkedIn profile page, it's on an author page on your website, or any other type of page, you're going to be, you can generate EAT signals on pages. And so on page and EAT really can be combined into one category. And so this category really jumped in influence this last year because of the uh, the ways that, that Google really doubled down on the importance of EAT in every search query and all the content that it evaluates. Reviews are really important. I would have given reviews actually a little bit more weighting because they're actually more important than just 13%. But it's really Google reviews that are really most important in moving the needle. And so when you look at Google reviews, you're really going to look at also them being a Google My Business signal as well. And so when you combine reviews and also the GMB category here, um, a review in a Google listing is a GBP signal as well as a review signal. So you're going to get a lot of waiting and moving out of reviews. So you know, one of the things all of you can take from this is double down with your efforts with clients on getting them reviews because it is an active, um, legitimate ranking signal, it's a trust signal. Um, and so highly recommend you, you kind of focus on that because that's one area of, of signals that are really hard for the agency to, to generate off on behalf of the client. I mean, certainly you can use high level or other automations to help them get the, the, the reviews, but ultimately the client has to do a great job and ask for the reviews. Um, link signals are still very important. Um, in the local search game, they're not as important as Google My Business signals, on-page and eat signals. Behavioral, uh, you know, think of that as like user engagement. Those are also really, really uh, influential. They become extremely influential. We'll talk about this in just a second. They become extremely influential when you combine behavioral user engagement signals with the Google listing. And so um, that's really kind of just a quick synopsis of the overall strategy with which we have built the Signal Genesis platform. It's built for agencies. It's built to generate ranking signals kind of on demand as you uh, as you feed the, our engine with content, which we kind of call the fuel. Signal Genesis, the platform is your Ferrari Lamborghini engine uh, or a car, and you just fuel it up with content, hit the publish button, and it'll generate ranking signals on demand in just about every category that you see here with just one press release. Okay, so that's the overarching um, strategy here. If you understand that, if you're if you haven't used it before, that's the approach that we've took or uh, taken with Signal Genesis to generate or move the needle uh, in rank in map pack rankings and organic, because it will um, it will move the needle in both the map pack rankings and the organic. All right. So um, I well, I'll, I'll stop there and, and shift. So what I want to do now is really talk to you guys about some under leveraged SEO strategies or ninja signal generation opportunities that exist that I don't really see or hear anyone talking about. And so these are things that you can do that um, uh, and, and that you have to kind of also work with the client on because there's some signals that are just so, so influential. They're so powerful because they are user generated and they're um, they're literally unfakeable, okay? And and Google knows that, okay? And so what we're and I want to bring Matt in here too. So if we can kind of bring Matt into this discussion, um, we you know we want to talk about some some signals that you can generate that have to do with building trust, relevance, and authority around that Google listing. And the reason we want to generate that around this Google listing is because that's what's going to make that GMB listing really pop in the Map Pack rankings. So Matt, are you here? I'm not seeing Matt on the attendee list at the moment. Okay. All right. So uh, I'll go through it here. So user engagement and interaction is really, really important. So one of the untapped gold mines really here is user engagement with the Google listing. Okay. And especially products within the Google listing. Did anyone does, put a one in, in chat if you know that you can add products and services to a Google listing? Put a two in chat if you didn't know that you could add products to a Google listing. Let me just kind of quick get a little idea here of what that looks like. Lots of lots of ones, Lane. Lots of ones, a couple of twos. So some okay. opportunities there. All right. 
So user engagement, and when you add products are actually more influential than services. So if you, you know, and, and every, every Google listing is pretty much going to have the opportunity to add both products and services, but products actually gets more weight than services. And you can actually integrate um, options for the user to purchase a product right on your Google listing with Google Checkout. Now imagine the trust signal that that is if a user finds a product on your Google listing and then makes a purchase. So a lot of people would be like, well, yeah, but I got a plumber, I'm in the HVAC business. Uh, how is it? plumbers you install water heaters, they do service calls. There's all sorts of other things that you could do. You could have just the service call fee that has to be paid for ahead of time. If they were to integrate that option into a product and then send users to their Google listing to purchase the service fee, in advance through their Google listing, I mean, watch that Google listing blow up just through even a couple of small transactions because of the user engagement and the trust with the product on that Google listing. So that's one really important uh, point here. Products encourage a business to highlight specific merchandise or services that the business sells. So like I said, it, you might call a service call fee a service, but you can put that in as a product in your Google listing. Uh, so don't be afraid of that, right? It's it's a product that uh, the that the that or a service that the, the the business sells. Product posts show up in the GBP dashboard. Uh, it'll also be published in the product section, and it'll also have an additional CTA button or a call button that uses the the business listing's primary phone number. All right, so you're getting signals within this product creation multiple types of signals okay now obviously the where this really gets a powerful is when you have the user engagement with the product signal okay and so um number one products are more powerful than services i mentioned that oops because they get a placement higher up in the knowledge panel and they're accompanied by photos and a call to action button those are all those little signals i just mentioned um, and they also have the ability to draw the searcher's eye to it and so that's also important the feature um, has the ability to direct the searcher to the company's website. And if the person clicks the view all link, it's going to display an expandable product photo grid. So Google's done a lot of innovation within this product section of a Google listing. And most SEOs, most agencies that I know haven't, you know, even if they've heard about products, didn't even know all these different features that are in there. That, and these are all little signals that you can generate just by creating the product. And then obviously getting the user engagement on it is really, really good as well. Um, so businesses enter detailed products and enable Google to highlight these products and make them stand out. When they're displayed, they, they're displayed more prominently in search results. Uh, if you look at this missed opportunity, on average, only 4% of businesses have products properly listed or listed at all on their listing. This is why we're bringing this up because we don't see a lot of agencies talking about this. We don't see a lot of listings on uh, on average, 95% or more aren't even really leveraging this strategy. Um, and so don't be afraid to highlight your services as products, okay? Don't feel like you're, you have to go and add them as services, even though it's a service-based business. Products are just simply displayed with more predominance and with greater priority in the search results. And they're going to be packed with more opportunity to, to jam signals into that product creation. Okay, Lane, any any chance you have a quick screenshot or something where you could show what that looks like uh, for those that aren't familiar? And if not, let's just keep pressing forward. And yeah, I don't have a that. screenshot of it, um, okay. but we can. Um, what I'll do is we'll, we'll 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 follow up in the thread in Facebook, and I can show some screenshots there. All right. Um, Okay, yeah, we'll get to some questions about single genesis in, in a little bit here. This is a really easy one for everyone. So this is a, a secondary tip, and this one's really, really easy to implement. Um, and it will absolutely help you also generate better map path rankings, okay? And it, it's really two simple strategies. Generate more click-throughs to your client's Google My Business listing or GBP listing. And how do you do that? Two ways. Number one, add the GBP listing link as a redirect on all your website forms. Okay. So you have a form on your website. You have a form. We always have forms, right? It's one of the easiest ways we can collect leads. When you when a, when a user fills out that form and then hits submit, in most form, like in high levels form creation tool or in gravity forms, you can 
tell the form where you want the, the, the user who has submitted the form to be redirected to, right? All you got to do is use the Google My Business listing link to as the redirect. And what is that going to do? That's going to take that user form submission, which is already a great engagement, and Google Analytics is measuring that. And now they're going to be redirected to your Google listing where they could potentially interact with your Google listing or even leave a review, buy a product, whatever it might be. And so that's a really simple win that I don't see many agencies really um, uh, capitalizing on. So that's just a quick tip there. Really simple way to generate more signals that are user engagement level signals that are just really simple. The, the next one is use, using QR codes and stickers wherever your client can get them uh, within their local area. All right. The, people are curious of these things. They want to hold their phone up and just even if it's just a scan. Right. And so if you have a QR code that scans and automatically brings that person to the Google listing, you're going to have a mobile phone scanned uh, signal going right to that Google listing, all right? And people are curious about these. You can have incentives on these. You could have discounts on these. You could do whatever you want in order to drive engagement, maybe something mysterious to kind of like make them go, hmm, I wonder what that's all about. So they, they just abs they just kind of scan and, and go, right? But this is a really simple, easy way to generate more uh, user engagement signals on the Google listing. And the reason we want to do this is because we know these types of signals here are incredibly influential, right? And they will move the needle. And so um, this is one way that is you can like literally almost automate this. It's a one-time setup of things and then boom, it's gonna just be kind of carrying on its own from that point forward, okay? Um, all right. So leveraging signal genesis. I know we have some questions about how to let leverage signal genesis to scale SEO. I'm excited to bring David on here in a few minutes and let him talk about how they've leveraged signal genesis at agency elevation. Um, and then, you know, one of the reasons Josh and I talked about having this, this session was because we do have a lot of users in the seven figure agency group, but a lot of you are not either leveraging the media room app channel at all. Um, and almost no one is, are leveraging our other new app channels. These are new um, app channels are like mini apps or mini software apps within the greater platform that bring is very specific, unique functionality within that app channel. And so uh, really uh, pertinent to our purpose at Signal Genesis, which is to help agencies generate ranking signals at scale for their clients we're developing other app channels within the greater platform to that end to help generate more ranking signals kind of on automation. And so one of the, the key the key ways or the key reasons why we are able to generate really good results with a press release is because we're 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 uh, executing this process like 100% opposite and different from any and all other press release services. So We've been very careful for the last four years since we launched to not classify our software platform as a press release platform. We are not a PR platform. PR is simply a secondary benefit that you get from using our platform for SEO and for web presence building, reputation building, what have you. Um, and the reason we are we built this for SEO using PR, though, is because we execute this in a very unique way. And the Media Room app channel is a very specific way to execute this process. And so what I'll do is I'll go out to um, our our white label website uh, site and show you the media room, okay? So the media room here, this is our WordPress site, but we have the media room that's running here. And this media room is running off of a couple of lines of integration code that you get in the back end in your uh, Signal Genesis um, account, okay? Um, once you install this couple of lines of code, this entire media room powers up. And um, another insight into why our platform is so effective with moving the needles because we have multiple Google API integrations. We have a Google Maps API integration. We have other Google API integrations. And our platform is literally doing bi-directional signaling within over 20 Google APIs, notwithstanding the Map API and generating ranking signals behind the scenes that you don't even know, won't ever be able to report on or quantify, um, but you'll be able to report and quantify on the better rankings and the money that comes from uh, ranking on page one. But the signals, some of them you can quantify, some of them our platform's doing in a proprietary way that we don't uh, report on. 
when you click into a press release that's published through the media room and through our platform, uh, not, number one, again, you see a Google map loading here. This is not loading from map embed code. This is loading from a live Google API call. That live API call is a very powerful signal, all right? It is a Google My Business or a GBP signal that's unique to that, um, that listing. And it's a very powerful one because it's coming through the API and we're loading this map on a live user engaged page load, okay? All of these maps then also duplicate out on all the live media sites. And so we can go out to a live media site by clicking on this in the news section that automatically populates it below the, each press release. Our software does this all automatically for you. So one of the things that Josh talks about is the ability to, you know, from, from a client um retention standpoint, we want to be able to communicate more value to our clients. We want to be able to report more value for the clients. We want to be able to report more activity that we're doing for the client because SEO uh, as it is, is kind of mysterious. It's a little ethereal. People don't really know exactly how to describe it, what it does. And a lot of clients just, you know, they have their ideas of what SEO is all about, but they don't really know. And I'll, so they ask for these different things that might help them try to figure out what you're doing for them. But I always found that um, it was just challenging to, to communicate the value. And so one of the things that we've done in Signal Genesis for agencies is to help deliver and communicate more value. And so instead of just doing a regular blog article, which we could do, we could go up to our blog and we could just post a normal blog article. And that's, I think most agencies have been trying, look, if we're going to be doing some level of SEO, we have to be producing content every month and we should be publishing that content to the client's blog. 100% true. The problem with that, though, is that when you publish it just to the blog, there it sits. And so unless you do other things with that content, it's not going to get much traffic, much activity, much user engagement signals. And it's really not going to build a whole lot of authority unless you go out and do a lot of manual link building or guest post blogging around that blog post. And that's what we used to do as an agency. The only problem with that was that was very manual. It was really time consuming to have to go. And it was expensive. Like I had to go out and go look for a guest post blog for you know a, a plumber that we've got, um, I might spend $150 to $350 for one guest post blog article on one guest post blog or blog site. Um, and so doing that at scale was very manual and expensive and it just wasn't super effective, honestly, unless we did a lot of it. And so um, rather than just posting articles to the blog now, what we can do is take that same content um, post it to the blog, do a press release about that blog article, and then greatly amplify and draw, drive all sorts of signals to that blog article, which then obviously should be interlinked with your Google listing and whatever else you're going to do in your SEO strategy. What we're doing with Signal Genesis is we're taking that article and we're sending it out to authoritative news media and radio station sites and the like that have DADR profiles of 40 to 85 to 90. Um, and we're generating all sorts of strategic um, signals with that content. And so we're amplifying the content out on all sorts of new sites. And the, the media room plays a central role in being the hub of all that activity. And it's all on automation once you have the media room installed on the client's website. Okay, so it takes literally like about five minutes. What we do is we go into quantum agency or in our, sorry, in a signal genesis. Uh, we go to our entities. Here, I'll use quantum agency as a kind of a demo here. So here, over here on the right-hand side, we have this expand arrow where you can hit it and it's going to expand our app channels. And so I was talking about the app channels here. And these app channels are all playing a role in generating more ranking signals. The media room is the key or the central hub uh, of this activity. And so you definitely want to be utilizing or leveraging our media room software technology. Just for example, PR Newswire or Cision sells media room software or media rooms for over $16,000 per year for one client. Okay. We can go to Google and just type in PR Newswire pricing guide, bring up their PDF pricing guide, which is right here. Come down to page four, and you're, here you'll see media rooms. Let me see if I can blow that up a little bit. They are selling a media room 
for sixteen thousand two hundred per year with a fifty five hundred dollars setup fee in the first year. So you're looking at about twenty two k in year one for just a media room that is by for all intents and purposes it is inferior to what we're uh, in our technology yes it's a media room with pr newswire yes their press releases will publish into their media room that they have but there is absolutely no seo benefit at all from their media room uh, we not only have an integrated media room but you can also with our our uh, software you can go in and you can also launch what we call our tier two or our tier three media rooms which enable you to also host a media room in the cloud okay so we provision uh, these media rooms uh, in the software with about in about five to six seconds uh, they're provisioned on the amazon cloud with an amazon ssl you'll see we've got a, a ssl here and we are on the amazon cloud okay um and so our software will create these in about five to six seconds and you can simply pick the subdomain which is usually the, the clients or company name and then we give you mediaroom.app as a domain to use and then all of the same press releases all the same signaling opportunities same as schema organizational schema google api integrations uh, and the like will all be functioning now on the amazon cloud version of the media room we recommend running both the external media room in the Amazon cloud and the internal media room on the clients or target money site directly, uh, running them both concurrently because our external media rooms are built um, strategically to support and to uh, drive more authority to the root domain, okay? And so uh, these media room app channel is a very important piece or hub of why we get good results. Um, and it also then includes internal reporting. Like I showed you that in the news section, you can just you know, direct your clients, re record a video and say, look, every month you're going to see, you know, a new press release published into your uh, your media room. And we would highly recommend that you just, you know, once it's there, you just go down click on in the news and you can see a random sample of different news sites that this article was picked up and published on. I would also not at all let them know that this is happening automatically for you. Let th They need to know that this is happening task by task, publication by publication, and that you as an agency are working to get them published on as many sites as you possibly can to generate EAT signals, to position them as an authority and an expert in their industry, to get them published on highly authoritative news and media sites, um, and to generate ranking signals around their website and their related Google listing. Um, and so just say, this is why we're doing this, part of our overall SEO strategy for you, part of our way of adding more value to you, and it's part of our way of really positioning you as the expert in your industry. And that's where you can really get into the, the, the topic or discussion of EAT uh, and why that's so important, okay? So that's the, the Media Room app channel. Um, I can entertain some questions about that in a, in a few. Uh, the Google Review App Channel is um, just that. It is an integration with your target Google listing. And as soon as you activate the Google uh, Review Channel, which we do that right here. So we go into our software. We go back to that entity here in the expand screen and we go to Google Reviews and we activate that app channel. Okay. And in this case, it's already been activated. And I've already got the Google listing connected. In the when you first activate it, it's going to prompt you to take you through what you would probably consider a normal connection wizard to connect the Google listing to our software platform, much like you would do it with Hootsuite or any other type of um, uh, of software. So once the Google listing is connected, what is happening now is our software is literally got a bi-directional. Um, connection with that Google listing for us to be able to generate ranking signals off of. So again, our software will start taking over once you have this app channel connected, and we're going to be generating ranking signals that you won't see through the APIs that are going to be very effective. What is seen is you can then take the integration code. Um, so let me show you that integration code. Our software generates it. It's a one-time generation of this code. The media room code is nearly the same it's different but it's identical in terms of you know it's just a simple two lines of code we take that code we go over to our website we create a new page called reviews or google reviews or reviews wall and we just insert that code into an html box or section and we publish 
our software takes over and then generates a live review page. It obviously has a live writer review uh, box or call to action, which opens the review box, a live Google API map integration, organizational schema, same as schema, and then live reviews that populate in as the agency, or I'm sorry, as the client gets more reviews, okay? You can also um, filter these reviews. If you have one or two or three star, you can come in here in the back end and we can, that's under configuration. We can say, we only wanna show the four and the five star reviews on our public website page or on our review page. Uh, that's up to you in the configuration um, section of the app channel. Again, why are we doing this? To generate uh, review signals, but other types of GBP ranking signals that our software will do once that connection is made by you. Mm -hmm. Lastly, our Twitter and Reddit app channels, we can come in here and also connect with Twitter and Reddit. We connect the Twitter account, the Reddit account. We get a same piece of code that we can do on tier one, which is to install this code on what we would call typically a social page. Once that social code is added and the Twitter and Reddit accounts are connected, then any tweet, any Reddit posts that go to those accounts are going to fill into the website via our code. And these are going to generate more interlinking signals uh, using the Twitter API, the Reddit API, and the high authority that we know Google gives Reddit and Twitter. And so we're going to just um, utilize more strategies to generate more signals. The other thing that happens is when you connect Twitter and Reddit, those two accounts become distribution channels for each press release. And so you can actually create a, a small post or tweet with your press releases once Twitter and Reddit are activated and connected. What are we doing again here? We're generating more ranking signals quite literally on automation once these are set up and connected. Um, and so then you just get this long you know, feed and these are all linking, interlinking with the tweets, the Reddit, Reddit posts, what have you. And what we're doing here is we're generating more link signals, okay? We're generating potentially more behavioral signals um, and we're generating API signals and we're generating on-page signals just with the Google, uh, I'm sorry, the Twitter and the Reddit app channel, okay? So um, this is, uh, the reason I, I wanted to mention this is because we see most of our users really not fully leveraging the media room, the Google reviews, the Twitter app channels to generate more ranking signals on automation once you have it set up. Set up for us, I know it kind of seems a little complicated just because we're, you know, you might, we're just going over through it pretty quickly here. Set up for this will take about 20 minutes, one time, and then it's done. All you have to do is have access to the Google, um, the, the client's website, uh, Google listing, Twitter, Reddit accounts, and then you're done. Uh, we typically have our, you know, the way it's processed out, the the team member is tasked to get logged into the Google listing, get logged into Twitter, get logged into Reddit, get logged um, into the website, so that all you got to do then is just come in here, activate each app channel, and connect away, and it's done like literally in about 15, 20 minutes. Um, once that's done, now the only thing we are like, the vehicle is set up, right? The Lamborghini is all outfitted. All we have to do now is just put fuel into the engine each month or as often as we deem necessary and just create new articles, new press releases to amplify that content. Now, um, Matt really gives a good analogy and he talks about you know single genesis being that Ferrari or Lamborghini and the content being the fuel. But like with any vehicle, you can put in quality fuel or you can put in cheap fuel. You can put in bad fuel. And so um, you, we are literally giving our agencies, you know, a, a, a luxury performance car to drive, but you're the driver. So the strategy and how you use the platform is up to you. And you can, when you put in your content, your fuel each month, whether it's a little or a lot, uh, how the quality of that content is going to be the quality of the fuel. And so we have SOPs and training on how to actually maximize, you know, or optimize your content to generate the most ranking signals possible with that one piece of content. Um, what's really exciting and new is that we are going live, if not tomorrow, Monday or Tuesday, with a whole bunch of new, very authoritative um, domains slash media outlets. So we have uh, a new channel of about 80 new local digital media, their newspaper, magazine, digital journal type sites 
all throughout the USA. There's about 80 of them. Those are going live. We're actually um, adding about 25 more um, channels or endpoints, media outlets to our main channel at, at no extra cost. So for those of you who are already users and have been using our main channel, the main channel is just going to get better as of tomorrow for you at no extra cost. But then you're going to start to see these other options as well to be able to generate even more and even more authoritative ranking signals using that same singular piece of content or press release. So we'll have Newsmax, AP News, Yahoo, Market Watch, and Digital Journal all live, if not tomorrow, by Monday, Tuesday next week. We're just finishing out a few bugs, pricing, and the reporting APIs. Um, so that's what's going to allow us to um, just pour more fuel on the fire with in terms of getting the, the results that we've already been getting for the last three and a half to four years. So that's a great segue for me to introduce uh, David uh, Kozlerik from Agency Elevation. David, are you here? I'm here. Can you guys hear me? <clears throat> okay, perfect. So David, great I'll- presentation. I'll, uh, but I'll hate, yeah, thanks, man. I'll, I'll hand the mic over to you. Why don't you just tell you know our our attendees today a little bit about agency elevation, how you guys have been using Signal Genesis in your SEO campaign deliverables, and then just you know kind of walk us into that case study that you guys. And thank you for putting together such an amazing case study too. Of course, thank you for Signal Genesis. So we've been a user of Signal Genesis for a long time. Um, just a little quick backstory on us. We're one of the largest, if not the largest, 100% uh, USA-based white label providers in the country. So we run and manage thousands of SEO accounts and campaigns monthly, thousands of Facebook ads, Google ads, et cetera, TikTok ads. And I've been with Josh and 7FA for quite a long time. I don't even know how long. I think going back to 2017 or 2018, I'd have to look now. Um, I met Lane through there, and I've always been looking for strategies for how we can scale our link building within our SEO packages, you know, and this is going back even before GBP was as big as it is and continuing to get bigger. And it's always been a struggle. Lane kind of mentioned this earlier, you know, if you're going to produce content and try to get a guest post blog and it's just not scalable, it's expensive, and it doesn't generate always the signals that you need to get the, the results that you need to move the needle, especially on the map side, right? That's the biggest thing now driving this for local business is the maps. And if you can't move that needle, it's tough. And we would have many client accounts that would sit there, we'd throw a bunch of links at them and we would see improvements organically, but not really in the maps. And that's frustrating, right? From a, a reporting perspective, a value perspective. And then we're having churn because of that. Our agencies who are our clients are having churn and we needed to solve this. And that's where Signal Genesis came in clutch for us. And we use this now in any, any package for our, our local SEO, of course, if they're willing to pay for it, right? We always have clients who are, not willing to pay for the service. They want a cheaper package, but if they pay for this, it works really, really well. Um, we use this in hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of campaigns every single month. And it's the number one factor for moving the needle on maps that we've seen. Um, we use it really similar to how Lane uses it. We do a few things different. And that's kind of the beautiful thing about it is that you can use this to generate whatever types of signals, link, anchor text, that you want, you can use it to push up supporting content. It's not just um, the press release um, that, that you're pushing to the maps listing, right? We use it to help uh, rank service pages, deeper pages, creating silos. There's all sorts of ways that you can use this in really cool, a cool manner. Um, we always get asked, you know, hey, do you have any case studies for your white label services? Well, we never do because most of our, well, all of our clients are white labeled and none of them ever want to be revealed. And so I was talking to Lane lately and I said, hey, we're going to put one together because we just did the data on this one. So this was a nine month test. And this is for a large chiropractic franchise that's a client of ours through one of our agencies. And we overall uh, increased phone calls generated over this nine month period by 23%. And we generated over 90,000 phone calls total between these listings. So this is a large client. This was a huge impact. Um, as you can imagine, you know, 23% is, is, is a big number. Um, when we took on this client, they had told us that their corporate expectations were um, 6 to 8% increase, otherwise they would cancel. I never like to guarantee results because I think that's just a bad business practice. We try to, you know, guarantee value and, and work. And we say, hey, by the nature of our experience, we know we're going to get results, but we don't guarantee a certain number. 
well, we crushed this. And then they asked me to put together the numbers because uh, there's over a hundred locations that we're managing um, these GVP locations for. What's really cool about this test and shows the direct value to Signal Genesis is they have a chunk of their uh, locations that are using Signal Genesis and a chunk that are not. And so the number 23%, that is the blended average amongst the ones using Signal Genesis with us and the ones not. But what's awesome about this test and why the data is so accurate is because we do the exact same optimizations for every single listing out of these 100 plus locations. So they all get the exact same GBP posts. They get the exact same optimizations. They get the exact same images because this is a, a corporate franchise. Um, they all have to be consistent, right? And so we recommend it against that. We say, we don't wanna use stock images or we don't wanna use the corporate approved image. We wanna use local real images. They were like, no, don't care. This is what it has to be. Well, the beautiful thing about that from our perspective is that it gives us a really clean data set and we ran this test for nine months. So this is based on uh, March through December of last year. And we're, they're now in, uh, sending us even more locations to manage uh, as we head into 2023 because the results were stellar. So 23% increase in phone calls is massive, but here's where the numbers get really interesting. And I'll explain this to you because the breakdown here for the case study is kind of showing the overall numbers. Um, but when we compared those listings that were not getting a Signal Genesis press release each month, they improved on average 19% um, for phone calls, which is awesome. That's great just from doing GVP optimizations. The locations that did get a Signal Genesis press release, and mind you, this is the only difference between these two listings is the Signal Genesis press release. Our team writes the content in-house. We have our, our strategy for how we link and do things was 47% increase in phone calls. Okay, that is massive. So we're talking a 28% increase just from using Signal Genesis to those that didn't use Signal Genesis, which those are the results on the right side. Overall though, it's a really impressive to say that we had a 47% increase in clients that did use a Signal Genesis press release. I can't stress how big that is and how, how monumental that is for a or signal genesis and the effectiveness of moving the needle on maps. The other thing I will say is that they're the only website. So none of these end locations have a, a, a website of their own. They just have one location page on the corporate site. So you could not get a more accurate data set to prove the efficacy of signal genesis because we do the exact same optimizations, the exact same posts, and they all have the exact same location page on the website. None of that changes. The only thing changed between these is those that get a Signal Genesis press release and those that don't. And how that was determined is just because the end locations have to pay the upgrade to get that press release each month. And so not all locations opt for that, but they just told me that they'll be presenting this data. They were blown away by the data, by the way. They thought 23% was massive. And when I explained to them, those that are getting the press release versus those that are not are seeing a 48, 49, or 47% increase. They were blown away and they're going to start pushing this, of course, to all their locations because it's in their interest to help them generate results. And so I really thought it was important to share this with Lane. I said, hey, brother, I appreciate this. This is awesome. Um, we're going to be putting together a lot more case studies. And like I said, at the core of our signal generation strategy is signal genesis. We use this for tons and tons of our campaigns. I wish everybody used it in their campaigns. Of course, like I said, some clients don't want to, they don't want to pay for it. Um, it's not super cheap to, for us to scale this because we have to generate content. So it's not a, a $20 a month add-on or something like I wish it was. But you guys can find ways to use this in your agency and it is dirt cheap if you have systems and processes down. We have a whole content team in-house that generates the articles each month. And then we have our own system for how links get inserted and which links get chosen and topics and all that. And we silo it and, and do all this stuff. But Lane gives the best training in the world on how to use this, stick to the plan, stick to the format. It does work, it moves the needle and it's super cheap for what you're getting. Um, you should be able to distribute and I don't know the pricing on how much it costs to distribute. Uh, I know we're kind of like grandfathered into a really old package when we bought this years ago. So I'll let Lane and them speak to the, the pricing on it, but you should be able to generate the content, 
you know, distribute the content to generate all these links and signals, have this awesome reporting with the media room, and it will cost you, I mean, literally pennies basically when you factor in what you're getting and how many links you're getting. If you were to go to any link provider out there and buy the link building, you cannot pay a fraction of, of, of what you're getting for what you're, you're paying through Signal Genesis. I mean, it is massively, I mean, each press release generates on average for us 30 to 40 links. Um, we use that as a reporting metric. Look, we built 30 to 40 links for you, but not only did we link them to just the homepage or their service page, we linked it to the GBP listing. So we link right to the maps listing as well. And we also link to service pages. So each press release is sending a backlink to the website. It's also sending a backlink to the GBP listings. And we've seen this directly impact the rankings, which obviously this case study alludes to, but we've also seen this in testing where I've said, okay, this keyword's down. So this is something that we do as well internally. And just to give you guys an idea of how we use this. A client complains and says, this keyword's down, right? We're, we're not ranking for chiropractor, Milwaukee, Wisconsin, whatever it is. We tell the content team, hey guys, let's shift focus for the next press release. Instead of doing this, we're gonna do chiropractor Milwaukee. They write the content around it. We link to the chiropractor Milwaukee page, location page on their website. We link it with anchor text that says chiropractor Milwaukee to the GBP listing, distribute. And within three, four weeks, you'll see GeoGrid rankings start popping up. Not saying that you go from number 30 to number one overnight, but you see direct correlation and direct impact to those rankings. And so I thought it was super valuable to share this case study. Of course, I'll take any questions on, uh, you know, anything we do specifically, I'm happy to share that. I can't share obviously who the client is or anything like that, but the way we use this, it works. I would not build something into our strategy if I did not believe in this. Um, I also consulted with and set up all the SEO campaigns for Jimmy Marketing for James Nicholas uh, years ago. Um, was able to do and replicate the same types of results you see in this case study for them for the orthodontic and dental niche. Um, and then the, Jimmy has since sold the agency and they got acquired and all this awesome stuff. But we did the same thing for them and we're seeing, I think, 30, 40% increases year over year. Um, so I highly recommend that you guys get this if you don't have it. If you do have it, I recommend that you follow Lane's teachings and trainings. He shows how to use this. And I just think it's super critical. You know, Josh uses this, we use it. Um, and I don't endorse things lightly. I'm very critical of most things. I'm a very outspoken, opinionated person. So when I have an opinion about something, I say it. Um, and in this case, um, I'm happy to always support Lane. I always tag and, and recommend Signal Genesis because it has a direct impact and it's built for agency owners. The other thing I'd like to say is that I've seen the improvement in the software over the years. We rarely have any issues. And anytime we have an issue, they handle them promptly. Being able to work with their team though, they built this for agencies. So Lane and Matt are always asking me, what do you guys wanna see in here? What do you recommend? How would this function better? How would that work better? I'm sure they do the same thing for Josh and others. And I just can't speak enough about it. So um, of course, happy to answer any specific questions. Um, but I, I hopefully in a nutshell, that kind of gives everybody a broad overview of how we use this. The results are amazing and it blew this client away. Um, and it's all due awesome. to Signal Genesis. It's awesome. Really, really appreciate you sharing um, the results. Uh, that's been one of our challenges, honestly, at being built for agencies and having literally building this in a way where we really honor that, that as a, as a, as a strategic um, uh, initiative at Signal Genesis, we do not compete with our, our agency clients. We're not going out and trying to get, you know, business clients and, and even though we're not a PR platform, if you just went to use any of the other wires, the moment you run one press release for one client, they are going to get in, inundated with email and other marketing from that wire service that you're using. Um, and we know how how much that undermines you know, your efforts as an agency. And so when we went to build this too, we built this to be white label, to be for us to be invisible. And so that has also had its challenges because we certainly have a lot of agencies that want to keep us kind of a secret and we're not actively doing a lot because for several reasons that we keep this a little bit more on the down low. We also don't do a lot of marketing because we are truly influencing Google's rankings. Okay. Our software is influencing a multi-billion dollar algorithm. Okay. Let that sink in, in terms of what's happening here. We don't want to advertise this, uh, you know, from, uh, from the rooftops and call a lot of unneeded attention to what we're doing. 
it is white hats, but we certainly don't want, uh, and we have a lot of competition, which is the other reason why we don't shout from the rooftops what we're doing. We have a fair amount of competition that is actively watching us, trying to mimic what we do. And we want to keep our, our advantage, our competitive advantage as much as we can in the marketplace. So there's a couple of different reasons why we've had a hard time getting case studies and getting um, you know, um, testimonials. And we just super appreciate um, clients like Josh and David at Agency Elevation, Eric at Agency Elevation for um, their willingness to, to talk about our platform, to talk about the, the usage and the results and the successes that they get from it, because it does help us obviously grow. So thank you, David. Really appreciate that significantly. Yeah, one uh, quick thing to add here um, yeah. that I just thought of. You know, the way we present this, you know, everything is optics and, and how you perceive and present this. We present this as our proprietary content syndication method. And you might be thinking, well, if anybody can buy Signal Genesis, how is it proprietary? Well, sure, that we don't own the software per se, but we, the way we use it is unique to us, right? And you can use this in your agency the same way, and you can build this in however you see fit. But please know that when I am selling agencies, when they come to me and say, how is your SEO different? They've never heard of generating signals for the maps. They don't know what that means. Nine out of 10 times. So we tell them, look, this is what we're doing. Very few, if any other agencies that you've dealt with are doing this. This is how we're different. This is how we're better. Full transparency reporting from end to end from here's the content. Here's the links generated. Here's your GeoGrid rankings going up. You, you can't lose. And so I really recommend that you position this as a proprietary content syndication method, um, especially if you're dealing with end clients. They're never going to find out about Signal Genesis because I'm pretty sure Lane and them only work with agencies. I don't think they let businesses sign up like a direct business. Um, but even if they did, the chances of them finding out about it are slim. They, they wouldn't, everything's white labeled. So I highly recommend you package it that way. This adds tremendous value to your packages. And it's something that you can sell against your competitors because there's a high likelihood that they're not using Signal Genesis. And so this is a way for you to kind of stand up from the pack. At least I recommend that. I don't know what everybody else recommends, Lane and Josh, but I highly recommend that. It works well for us. Yeah, 100%. Um, you know, another here. Yeah, go ahead, Matt. I know you've been waiting. Go ahead. Yeah, you guys can hear me. Yeah, to 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 second what David just shared, is he's exactly right. If we look at a hundred agencies, probably you know ninety of those agencies will do something completely different. And the way that we, you know, kind of position this solution, it's a tool, and it, and we include strategy. We we love to help agencies strategize, but ultimately. You know, we like to say it's a high performance car. We put it on the starting line. We hand you the keys and you're the professional, right? You're, you're the one running your agency. So you're the driver, how you drive that high performance vehicle and the fuel that you put into that vehicle, the content, those are both of your decisions. Now we do content fulfillment. We, we most 90% of our agencies write their own content or have it written somewhere else, which is perfectly fine. We only have that there as a convenience. Um, so you put in good quality content and you drive it. So if it's a high performance vehicle, we recommend that you don't, you don't go off roading. If you decide to do that, which a lot of agencies do, they'll put 37 links and 10 do follows. And, it, and we cringe. We're like, please don't do that. That's not, that's not the best thing to do, but ultimately you're the agency, you're the professional. So if you choose to put 37 links and 10 do follows and it's really spammy, I mean, you're not going to see great results. So to, to David's point, they have some really great internal processes yes. using the platform, their strategy and the links that they choose, even the, con the, the, the strategy of their content, how they write and what they write about. You know, we can give guidance and ultimately, you know, what David does is his, their, his proprietary, whether he wants to share that or not, it's up to them. But they use the high performance car very well. You know, they don't go speeding. They, they go fast, but they don't, you know, pass all the other cars. They don't knock other cars off the side of the road. You know, I, I'm killing that analogy to death, but um, ultimately it's a high performance tool. You guys are the professionals. We're your pit crew. We're kind of on the sidelines. We, we do AMAs, we do demos and instruction like right here. So we want to help you guys use it the best that you can. That's why we put a lot of things in the knowledge base, but um, you know, be careful how you use it because you can, uh, you can get tickets and get pulled over. That's a good analogy. I love it. Um, to I want to David made another point, and as he was sharing, um, there is 
again, I'm going to just qualify this statement. We are, we are not a, a PR platform. All right. We're leveraging PR for web presence and SEO and branding and reputation. Um, but if we compare prices, because I know, you know, that, that's part of our job as agency owners is to look at the finances and make sure economics all make sense. You, you will not be able to go anywhere to any other service and get these, these outlets at a cheaper price, whether they're individually a la carte. In fact, most places you can't get a, a lot of a la carte with these. You, it's either a one or none, uh, you know, all or none, I'm sorry. Um, but uh, a la carte or packaged together, um, pricing will be live in your accounts as soon as all of these go live tomorrow or Monday, Tuesday, next week. So you'll be able to get your live pricing um, and the pricing will vary depending on which plan you join in at on Signal Genesis. But even on our free access plan, which is our our easiest, you know, it's free access. There's no, they're not paid access. Um, on free access, you're going to pay more per press release. You're going to pay more per uh, app channel activation because you're in free access. But even on our free access plan, it is still cheaper than any other service out there, even on our free access plan. So we did, we, you know, I, I, we try to build single Genesis with this concept of dynamic value and dynamic value to me is where you can add, you can increase the value offering while simultaneously decreasing price to your target market. All right. That's part of the blue ocean strategy framework is dynamic value where you increase the value and you decrease the price simultaneously. And that's what we're doing here. This is our blue ocean strategy. We're decreasing the price to our agency partners while adding more value, better outcomes, better results, and more value for you to communicate to your client. Uh, there's just really no way to lose here. So that's another important point here I wanted to make. Um, if you want the, the slide deck from today, I would ask you just to leave us, tag me in a post in Facebook um, or LinkedIn the two major platforms, just leave a, a little feedback about the the the, uh, the, the webinar today. Um, and um, I'll then give you a link. I'll DM you a link to today's um, presentation, which has all you know all, all the slides here. And I also have a link to our ultimate website architecture for local SEO mind map. All right. You can link off of it right here. And this will give you our mind map of really kind of how to build out the ultimate architecture for a website that's, you know, for local SEO. Uh, this certainly doesn't have to all be done, but this is kind of like the ultimate mind map if you want to look at architecture for a website, because um, it, it will help, obviously, in getting better results if you build the website architecture properly. So I have that. I also have an on-page SEO checklist. Like, you know, on-page SEO is... It's, I don't want to say it's basic, but it's, you know, we all know what it is. Like you can go, there's tons of checklists, tons of stuff out there. It's nothing really new under the sun when it comes to on-page, but you got to have it done. So if you don't have, you know, an on-page SEO checklist, here's a really good one. And then I, I also include a link to the, um, to just yesterday, Google updated their link best practices. And there's some really good signaling insights in this um, blog article um, one of the big ones was that, um, and you can do this inside Signal Genesis, and so I'll kind of end with this because it's a really good um, insight from that blog article. When you're in um, your press release, you can come in here, and David kind of alluded to it too, but we can insert images here. So I can go out to um, my Google listing here, and I can grab a Google My Business post image, all right? So let me go to the Google My Business post. There's, oh, wrong one. Go back. Learn more. Uh, no, right here. Okay. There's Lynn's sexy face. All right. So I'm going to grab, let's just say I want to use this image here from a previous GMB post, right? I'm going to right click on it. I'm going to hit copy image address. All right. This image, if we go to a, just a, a new tab, you can see this image loads here and it's stored on a Google server. This image is directly associated with that Google listing and it's stored on a Google server. And so I can take this image and I can go into our, um, our editor where you're building a new press release and I can insert an image here. And obviously I'd put a keyword here and save. But now I've brought this image into the press release, okay? Now, what happens here is um, uh, this image here, uh, we would tag it as an image. 
All right. Um, this image here, we can also link and we could actually link it to that post. So I could go out to that, that GMB listing here and I could grab that share post or the share link for the post. And I could actually then come back here and actually link the post if I wanted to as well. OK, but what's happening here and how does this relate to the Google link best practices update? Well, they put in here that um, th that for all images, uh, image links. OK, so it's important to understand that this is an image link. All right. Why? Why is it a link? Well, because it's coming directly from this source uh, URL here. When Google crawls this, it's going to look at this as an image. It's going to look at as in a link. And it's also going to see this image is directly associated with this Google listing. And so what are we doing here just with this one image? Uh, well, we are creating a, a couple different GDP signals. All right. We're um, definitely going to create an on-page signal. All right. And we're going to create a link signal. So with one image, we can create at least three signals. If we get some traffic or clicks on it, we'll actually get some behavioral on it as well. All right. Um, but what Google put in, in the link best practices guide was to that um, on any image link, they're going to grab the alt text um, as for, from that image. All right. And so if you are not using image alt text, be sure you do, especially if you're uploading images to your Google listing, because they're going to see that image alt text. And that's all going to be included in that image link that you're producing with any given image. So there's just, that's just one little insight that you can generate from um, some, of the in, uh, some of the information that Google gives you here on that. Uh, lastly, I put this in chat, but anybody who wants to connect with us, uh, I did put the links in there. Our main pricing page is here. We do have a seven-figure only special on our lifetime deal. So it's a it's a 24 payment plan, uh, $300, uh, $300, 24 payments of $300 um, for our lifetime access plan, which gives you the lowest price on all press release distributions. And that's a plan that we only have for 7FA members. So if you want that plan, that's in there and that bit.ly link. And then of course, follow us on our YouTube channel because like David said, like Matt said, we do a lot of training. I do AMA sessions now once a month. I was doing them once a week last year, but now I'm doing once a month. And so we have lots of training there. So follow us on our YouTube channel. And um, you know, we'll take seven minutes. We'll end at 2.15. We'll take a few minutes just to just kind of hit a few questions. Matt, did you see any questions that we should answer live? Uh, can you hear me? Yes. Yeah, I've, we've been answering the questions along the way. Okay, good. Um, someone has asked um, Signal Genesis uh, Quantum Newswire. Um, so we, uh, when we first launched the software back in December of 2018, we launched as Quantum Newswire. In July or June of 2021, we rebranded Quantum Newswire to Signal Genesis, and that's our new brand. We still have Quantum Newswire Live. Um, didn't want to confuse people who are already users. Um, so you can actually log into our platform either through Quantum Newswire or through Signal Genesis. There's no difference. It's the same account. Um, just letting you guys know that. Um, for those of you who are maybe a little confused about Quantum Newswire, if you're confused about the quantum name, Quantum Agency is our white label agency that we have that's separate from Signal Genesis. And so that's where the, maybe the quantum name might confuse a little people. But Signal Genesis is the software, and that's where you can go and get your um, get your account as an agency level um, uh, account if you want that. The link for the mind map is in uh, in the spreadsheet. Uh, I'm sorry, in the slide deck. Um, all you got to do is um, just DM. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, send put out a post about to give us some feedback about today's webinar and it, and tag me uh, in that feedback. And if you do that, I'll give you our entire slide deck with all these resources here. I'll just, I'll DM it to you in either Facebook Messenger or LinkedIn Messenger. All right, I wanna thank everyone for their time and attention today. We just eclipsed kind of the hour mark. So um, again, thank you to Josh and his entire seven figure team. We really appreciate uh, the partnership with Josh and the team, really appreciate David and Eric at Agency Elevation and your um, just kindness to put together this case study to showcase the efficacy of Signal Genesis, especially on a large scale client, national client like this. Um, and again, if you would like a copy of our slide deck today, just DM, uh, I'm sorry, tag me in a social post on Facebook or LinkedIn, and I'll DM you the direct link to today's slide deck. Once again, everyone, thank you. I really appreciate your time and attention. Uh, if there's anything that we can do to help you as an agency with your 
SEO with your agency growth, by all means, just uh, tag me, DM me. You know, we're, we're uh, all in with uh, when it comes to our seven figure agency partners. So thanks again, everyone. Have a great day. Thanks, everyone. Yeah, tag, thanks, Lane. Appreciate tag, you. Tag, yeah, thank you guys. Tag me, tag Lane personally in the post uh, so that I see it. And I'll actually, you know, give you the link directly in DM. Again, thanks, everyone. Have a great day. Thanks, guys. Have a good day. Yeah. Thanks, David. Bye. Appreciate it. Yep. Bye.